Hello and welcome to the Saturday Wrap for Saturday the 16th of January 2021 and it has actually stopped raining. I do have an emergency beer, Slow Chill from Os Oscar Blues Brewery, 5% alcohol by volume from the United States, haven't opened it yet due to the danger of spillage over the tech. Anyway, um, for those of you who haven't seen this before, this is a wrap, the Saturday wrap, of my week ending Saturday the 16th of January 2021. Um, I try not to be political, I usually fail. It's mostly tech and beer and things. It would be Beano's, um, but there aren't any of those at the moment. In fact, um, I have been on annual leave all week and it's the first time I've taken a week off since, I think, March 2020. In fact, I was off on leave this time last year. That was for CES, the reason I took this week off. Except this year it's virtual and it's hard to notice the difference between the real life event and the virtual event. In fact, a lot of manufacturers, Samson, um, don't take part in CES, but announce things anyway. The Samson Galaxy 21, I think, and those tiles. Where are Apple's tiles, by the way? Anyway, getting off the subject, which happens a lot with these. Um, the word or phrase of the week, which I usually forget this week, it is imprinted on me. It's, what fresh hell is this? Now, I was reading a group on Facebook. I know a lot of people think Facebook is rubbish and whatever, but there's some really good groups on there. And I think it was a Welsh industrial history. It could have been Welsh industrial transport, but it was something like that. And one of those things popped up. People who you might know, who you might want to be friends with. Mr. Vague Guessing. I couldn't believe it. <laughs> oh, it made me chuckle. It really did. Uh, okay. So, um, what have I been doing? Um, to do software, which is basically reminder software. A long time ago, I was using Lotus Organizer, which did color, color, I can't even say coloring. It had a calendar. Um, and to do's and birthdays and all that sort of thing and it was wonderful and all i had to do was transport its data file between the various machines that i had i was like that even then and everything was tickety boo i used to use winra and floppy disks and then i used winra uh, if for no other reason then you could just extract it and it would put it in the right place um, and with thumb drives However, it sort of didn't get supported anymore, and in the end, I moved over to Wonderlist, which Microsoft bought, um, and then they closed that down and replaced it with their own to-do, which, if they had any sense, it would have just been a rebranded version of Wonderlist, because Wonderlist did email reminders and all sorts of things, and to-do to -do really isn't that good. I have now moved on to Apple Reminders, which sends you a push notification on my iPhone, on my iPads, on my Mac, and such like, and that notification stays at the top of your notifications, so it's really difficult to ignore it, which is what I was looking for. Now, the only thing about it is not cross-platform, and the web client on iCloud just lets you put the reminder in without a time and date. There must be something wrong there. Anyway, I like it a lot. It's easy to use. And it is now my to-do reminder. The FA Cup came back. The magic of the cup. 
I love that sort of thing. I don't know much about football, um, as if you've ever seen my Dream Team results. I'm useless, but there is something about the FA Cup and some beers. And people talking nonsense about it. I... Yeah, the beautiful game. Anyway, moving on. More software. Um, I don't know if you remember me mentioning that due to Brexit, Mac Updater, the piece of software for the Apple Mac that updates various bits of software, um, they brought out version 2 and they're based in Malta and there's all sorts of issues. Um, basically, inland revenue uh, and tax and such like and whatever. So I pinged them and said, what if I said I was in the United States? Would they recognize I had a UK credit card? And they said, well, we can't really condone uh, trying to circumvent the rules. However, if you DM us, we'll see what we can do. They sent me back a full code. So it's now working perfectly. Um, and as soon as, and they said later on in January, uh, they get things going, um, I pay them like the wind. Mac updater, if you've got a Mac, it is awesome. Really good. And the support isn't bad either. Uh, yeah, I've already mentioned the annual leave and CES. I don't think it's as good as it used to be. And I'm not sure if I'm being online has made much in the way of difference to it. All the big companies, well, the CES, I think Engadget were doing their um, awards and the award went to a Ryzen chip from AMD, which I have a soft spot for AMD. But I was hoping for something a little bit, bit more. Well, you know what I mean. Still, um, there has been lots of talk and lots of things and I've enjoyed it, except there wasn't Pepcom and the best of CES and those pre-show shows where you could watch the videos of people having lots of free food. <laughs> Ah, uh, whatever. Monday, Monday, Monday was nice. Actually, it's, I can see some blue sky now and the weather forecast said it should be raining. Um, I mowed the lawn and I put some weed. Well, it wasn't weed and feed. It was feed and moss killer. And the lawn is rather green. And mowing it just took the top off it and it looks okay. It's not spectacular. But it is a lot better than it was last year. And I think in February, weed and feed to take all the weeds out of it and then reseed it a bit in March. That's if, yeah, no, I'm going to get it from Amazon. Because everything else, well, I'll come on to that later, you know. So um, Tuesday was patched Tuesday and I was having problems with my Dell this machine. I couldn't install the cumulative update for December. It would get to 100% and then just bomb out. And I tried all the fixes under the sun. And none of them worked. And I was going to say 2021 is the year of failed updates. And I remembered the big cert on the Mac was actually in 2020. So I'm going to say winter 20 to 21. Failed updates, um, large manufacturers, your update software stinks. Microsoft uses the worst, but oh. Anyway, um, you can do a, there's a petition on it to reinstall, which is difficult to get to, and then it'll pull that, and long story short, first one failed, second one actually worked after a long, 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 long time. And it's back up to Windows 10 20 H2 standard, fully patched. I'll just stay that way. And things seem to be working okay, for the moment anyway. But it took a hell of a long time. Hmm, Windows 10 X maybe next time. I kind of like a Chromebook where you just sort of log on and that's it. He says, hopefully. Never mind. Um, okay. 
So, uh, it was announced, well, I think it was Monday. It was one of those, we're going to make a decision, but we won't make a decision things from the Welsh Assembly Government. I know they're not the Welsh Assembly Government now. I know they're the Welsh Government, but they're a glorified council. Uh, about supermarkets, saying there was a significant evidence of supermarkets being a source of spreading. I read through all the articles. I couldn't find anything in the science, no figures, no reports, no anything. And of course, follow the science. <sighs> so they cracked down on supermarkets. I went to Tesco's this morning. A couple of things I would say. Um, Tesco's have the traffic lights, which they've had for some time. Frying pans are now essential. And walks are as well. Um, but there was a picture on Twitter this morning, I think it was of a B&Q, where seeds are no longer considered essential. Which seeds make food. And there was a report in the week about whales saying we should grow more of our own food because it's good exercise and it's good for you and anything. Um, but that sort of food is no longer essential. Yeah. Take your mind off the disaster that is the Welsh vaccine rollout. Yeah. Okay, so um, if I need a frying pan, and I don't actually need one because Trangia, yeah, I have the frying pan, uh, which is Teflon coated, which is probably bad for me, but I don't really care. <laughs> um, and if I need a walk, um, Tesco's as well, so club card points. So Tesco's, the difference, uh, only a certain amount of people in at a time go early or go on a Monday or a Tuesday because it's back to work for me next week. Um, and the amount of people who have all the masks and the things on and then handle the food and then put it back uh, really annoys me. Staff are really good. Car parking was really good, in and out, and last year, this time, club card points took two days to appear on the app, now within about 10 minutes. That's science and that's progress. And now that you can get a frying pan in Tesco's, I'm seeing that as light at the end of the tunnel. I know that seems a bit strange. Well, I am a little bit strange anyway, but that and the blue sky outside, as I look at that, makes me feel a lot better. Anyway, I have to go now because beer is calling. Thank you very much. Goodbye. And YouTube or WordPress or Twitter or uh, MeWe or even Facebook. Comments are welcome. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.